Today, one in three American adults is at high risk for developing kidney disease. There are more than 1.1 million people in Illinois already affected by the disease, and many of those are unaware. Every day, the National Kidney Foundation of Illinois is working to reach those individuals and their caregivers. Here are three of their stories. Nearly a year ago, Rosa had never heard of the National Kidney Foundation of Illinois or the Kidney Mobile. Her friend was attending a Kidney Mobile screening and asked Rosa to join her. She invited me to an event, but I, I really don't like to go at the beginning because I think that is a waste of my time. I like swimming, playing basketball, so I didn't feel any bad. At the Kidney Mobile screening, Rosa learned that her kidneys were functioning at just 27%. This was the first time she'd learned of any problem. For me, it was a routine, but after, it was really, oh my goodness, it was really bad for me. The nurse and the, uh, the people who were working t t uh, told me that my kidney were really bad. It was good in that moment because they ring me the bell. You are not good. So I have to, to, to do all the best to try to reverse. You know, all my life, I, I have seen that I am going to live till 100. All my life, even when I was very young. So I am 78 now. It's not too far. Following the screening, the National Kidney Foundation of Illinois connected Rosa with a physician who referred her to a nephrologist. She was prescribed medication to stop the progression of her kidney disease. Today, it's working. Uh, after that, I, uh, because I, don't, I don't like to cry and say, oh, I'm going to die. No, I have to find. Dr. Tipu Puri first learned of the National Kidney Foundation of Illinois and, more specifically, their young investigator research grants over eight years ago. I, f I first became involved with the National Kidney Foundation of Illinois when I was just finishing my fellowship at the University of Chicago, and my research mentor at the time suggested I apply for a research grant being offered by the NKFI. As Dr. Puri's career progressed, he began to realize how vital his partnership with the National Kidney Foundation of Illinois was. When I see patients in, in my clinic, a lot of damage has already been done, and while we're still talking about trying to protect their kidneys and prevent further damage, often we're also talking about next steps, which include transplant and dialysis, and that's the last thing a patient wants to hear when, you know, when they, this is all coming out of the blue at them. Um, I think the scary thing is there's no signs or symptoms until kidney disease is very advanced, close to needing dialysis or transplant. Dr. Puri became even more involved with the NKFI, not only through his research and professional advisory board membership, but also through events such as controversies in nephrology, walk for kidneys, and kidney mobile screenings. And as both a nephrologist and a volunteer for the foundation, Dr. Puri sees firsthand every day why the work of the NKFI is so crucial to everyone at risk for or affected by kidney disease. First and foremost, the NKFI is our local organization. I would say that the NKFI is the, the biggest, uh, uh, biggest player in that area between kidney mobile screenings, actually going out into the community and directly identifying um, people with risk factors. And uh, I've participated in those screenings and done consultations at those screenings. And every single time, there's at least a third to 50% of people that we screen that have some abnormality. And it's the first step. Um, to understanding that they have a problem and that there's things that can be done about it. Um, before the screening, they likely had no idea. Finally, meet Tim Whiting, a living donor who made the decision to donate a kidney to save his mother's life. Uh, my mom, she's, uh, <laughs> she's like an angel. Uh, that's the best way I can describe my mother. Um, she's a beautiful person, and uh, she was struck with uh, kidney disease, and then she had kidney cancer, so she had to have one of her kidneys removed, which further put more um, stress on her, her kidney disease. And so it wasn't months after that that she was in failure and so uh, in need of a kidney 
transplant. I stepped up to the plate to offer to be a donor. Tim was tested immediately and was a match, but after the surgery to remove her cancer, he could no longer be his mother's donor. Things just really started to derail and get really emotional. Um, there were there were days and weeks where you know we really didn't think my mom was going to make it, and I would wake up in the middle of the night and I'd just be crying, and you know it wasn't even a nightmare. It was just the emotions of the whole thing and. And it was, it, was, it was really terrible. It was a terrible time, uh, I'm not going to lie. Finally, after multiple letdowns and failed searches for another donor, Tim and his mother were connected to the National Kidney Foundation of Illinois and learned about the option of being part of a living donor chain. Almost immediately, the chain was set up with three kidney donors and three recipients. And so um, we got involved in the exchange program through the National Kidney Foundation in Northwestern Hospital. And within months, my mom was, uh, was given a kidney. Since the experience four and a half years ago, Tim has been a committed supporter of the National Kidney Foundation of Illinois and an advocate for living kidney donation. The people that don't know about kidney donation, that it's a, one of the most awesome experiences uh, and that it saves lives and that, you know, I'm okay. You know, I'm, I'm just as healthy as I was before I gave it, uh, other than a little scar on my stomach, so. Where else can you be involved in an organization that is saving lives, directly saving lives? And I think that is one of the most powerful opportunities and gifts that you can do as a living human being. Today, all six of the individuals that were part of Tim and his mother's kidney donor chain are healthy and doing well. When asked what could have happened, had he not been connected to the National Kidney Foundation of Illinois? I think we would have lost my mom. Plain and simple. <laughs>